Why do people keep ending up in the same position over and over again when they know that it hurts them? I think this is something that we all kind of instinctively know, but nobody ever seems to want to talk about. When I've heard it mentioned in academic spaces, one of the first things that comes up is it's victim blaming. Blaming somebody who is already traumatized for re-traumatizing themselves. Well, there's actually good reason for it. When we encounter any kind of trauma, be it physical or emotional or otherwise, it does rewire our brains. In fact, the brain of someone who's been emotionally traumatized looks pretty similar to the brain of someone who had actual brain damage. Yeah, it sucks, but our brains are plastic and they develop around what we experience. There is also a lot of plastic in the average person's brain, about a teaspoon. I'm not exactly sure how that part plays into our cognition, but it can't be good. Mark my words, we are going to see plastic-induced psychosis in the next few years. We're probably seeing it now, but haven't identified it. Look how long it took us to figure out Alzheimer's, I digress. If something happened to you very early in life, you'll often find that you have a smaller amygdala, meaning the fear center of your brain. You are less afraid of things, and that's prime territory to put yourself in the same spot because our brains don't actually want comfort. No, what our brains crave is familiarity. In the last few years, we figured out that PTSD does actual damage to the brain. Also, so do blasts. We've seen people who did not have head injuries in the military coming back with something that looked very much like a head injury, but it's kind of hard to parse that from being exposed to blasts, sleep deprivation, and everything else people go through. Our understanding of the brain is nascent. We're only just starting to see the real effects. So far, psychotherapy, which has tried to address all of these problems, are not actually getting to the core of the issue, which is brains function differently depending on what we've experienced. For example, things like borderline personality disorder or any personality disorder we are finding is linked to trauma. That doesn't mean it's specifically caused, there very well could be genetic components. In fact, there's always genetic components. But trying to talk somebody through brain damage is not really going to help. While there are things that you can do to rewire your brain, I'm hoping that we'll eventually find real treatments for the kind of brain damage that is induced from trauma. That part right there, it's designed to keep us alive. Humans are extraordinarily adaptable. We live everywhere. There's people on the North and South Pole right now. People are hanging out with penguins. We are designed to adapt to whatever it is we're born into. Yes, what is actually happening is you are seeking out things that make you feel at home, things that make you feel safe. And paradoxically, bad things make you feel safe when it's all you've ever known. That is particularly true if it happened from birth. I know a lot of people talk about PTSD where there was a before time before this terrible thing happened. It's a lot more complicated if terrible is everything you've ever known. While I'm not the hugest proponent for psychotherapy, I think that's the place where an outside perspective could help. Someone who can talk you through what you've experienced and what you're doing that is harming yourself. That does not mean that you are at fault. It's not your fault, but fortunately you can have agency. You can change your own patterns.